one fighter in an alley to save your life. You could probably do worse than this man as we welcome back the UFC middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. A lot of people think his ceiling is championship and that eventually this man will be the undisputed UFC middleweight title holder. Seems to be a great stylistic matchup against a lot of these guys. He has power, he has speed, he has toughness, a chin that allows him to be aggressive. And when he's aggressive, he is at his athletic best. He is a total athletic freak off the charts. And tonight, he will try to prove to people that he is a force to be reckoned and true. One of, if not the best middleweights in the world. Sean Strickland, he is one of one, the inimitable pride of Corona, California, training under Extreme Couture's banner here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Great teammate, outstanding boxer, he lives in the gym, and you're probably not gonna outpace this guy over 25 minutes, so it, it can be a little bit of a mind-bending exercise, not just in training, but also in the fight itself. Sean Strickland is not going away. Just ask Israel Adesanya how that stylistic matchup went for him. Now we'll see how Strickland can fare here tonight and if he can get back to the precipice as the UFC middleweight champion. for this, our main event of the evening. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Paolo the Eraser And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sean Strickland! And there's Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, early round action here, and you got to be mindful of that Paolo Costa power. I know that isn't breaking news, but certainly his opponent talked a lot about that this week, especially at the outset of these rounds when bodies are dry and not tired. you got to be careful of all that Paolo Costa preserving power coming back your way. Nice one-two there. Still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Oh, crippling uppercut. Another strike to the head lands. It won't take many of those. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Hands high, hands high. Straight punch is true. Right on the button. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. What a kick. That one landed. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Strickland strike attempt there is good. 
midway through round one. Oh, high kick. Good combination of jabs for him there. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Kick to the body by Costa. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, huge combination from Paolo Costa. This guy's a judge's dream, DC. Every single one of his UFC wins has been a finish. Zero decision wins in his career as he enters the octagon here tonight. Oh, punches and bunches all to the head. Beautiful combination. Just over two minutes now to go. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Nice block. His nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high to the low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad. He couldn't find a shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. So 57 total strikes have now landed for the powerful Paolo Costa. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Strickland swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. 15 seconds. Oh, beautiful jab there by Costa. shot there just before you heard the horn so he gets saved by the bell the question is though what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool 60 seconds here to recover the onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight all right so there's the end of the round he stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round it was accumulation of those strikes he kept hitting him over and over to the head eventually he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do All it. right, here we go with round two. Strickland gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Strickland's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Nice body shot there. Good job blocking that shot. Left hook to the head. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps it's and it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Oh, nice body shot. Uppercuts, uppercuts, uppercuts. Trying the flying knee there. Oh, hurt him again. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
Nice kick there by Costa. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh! He's in bad. Oh! Huge right hand! And back to his feet. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> a massive kick here. Oh, there it is. That's that one, that right hand. Oh, my goodness. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Oh, pinch of hurt. Oh, well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business. He's in a lot of trouble. Now he's backed up. Just misses with the straight right. Fighter connects there. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now, he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. So, wow. power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Oh, that jab alerted his guy. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Inside the octagon once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Paulo the Costa. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises. You